Now it's time to press buttons and talk with Maggie and Rosie D. Hello. Hey, welcome back. Uh, it's a new session, and also we have a little shout out to give. Yeah, to, we got some stuff. Uh, thank you to Catherine. Uh, pull up a picture here. There it is. What a great um, picture. She sent us Okami and uh, Dongen. Or no, not Dongen. Dongen Rumpa. Rumpa. That was that was before. Yeah, we already uh, got DDR, that. DDR. DDR. Uh, we don't know if we're gonna play DDR because we don't have a map. There's for a it. lot of logistics. We would like we would love to play DDR. It's not like oh we're self conscious, but like our situation doesn't really allow for it. But that's an option. It's, it's we'll say maybe on the but we will play Okami. Yeah, if we figure it out. Uh, and uh, I already thank you in my PO box video, but thank you very much again. Uh, if you guys want to send games in, it's all PO in box the, is in the description in the of every desk. video. Yeah, so check that out. Send us games. We're going to move on with this and explore. This strange location. <gasps> wow. That's scary. Every time I see a bunch of question marks, I imagine the Toolman Tim home improvement. <laughs> oh, it's a teddy bear. Well, what is this? Oh, teddy bear. It looks like a drowsy. It it's doesn't. got a yellow bod and a brown I guess a drowsy a bosom. themed bear. Yeah. Okay. I've got a feeling I'm not in the hotel anymore. Was that like a Kansas? Are those videos over there? Well, I'll worry about that later. For now, I should be looking for clues. Blue paw prints. That way, I can show them to Sis and maybe get out of here. Write them down in your handy dandy nope. notebook. I was always frustrated by how fucking good Steve was at drawing. He was really good It was good like at three strokes he would do, and it's a perfect bed. It's <laughs> like, fuck me, Steve. That's weird. What's a figurine that looks kind of like Drowsy doing on a sofa in a place like this? I think it's a bear. It's like a robot bear. Oh, how cute. Robot bear. Like a segmented insect. Oh. Yeah, it, oh, it has like a, oh. But it's got a lot of cuts and slits on it. I wonder if it's some kind of puzzle or something. Huh. Puzzle bear. What's that on the coffee table? Uh, it's a picture. There's a framed picture sitting on this coffee table. It's a picture of a woman. She's kind of pretty. Hey. Looks like something's written here. Let's see. I think it says, With love, Celeste. I well, I don't know who the fuck that is. Yeah, that obviously has no bearing on the current Well, mine is just like, oh, okay, pretty well. Well, better throw it away. I bet this could be a clue. Let's okay. write this down in our hand. I the bookshelf with all the videos. I'm just gonna look at the satellite first. What is this thing? An antenna, I guess. And this is... A VCR? In 2017? Wow. There sure are a lot of electronic gadgets here. Someone's real retro. A lot of gizmos. But what is an antenna doing here? Hmm. Let's look at the bookshelf. It's so dark in here that I can barely see, but... These kind of feel like... Videotapes. All of them. Just what kind of room is this? Is it's that a, a video dog room. How about the a doggy door? No, my thing first. Shut up! Ugh. Locked, of course. And it doesn't look like I can use the card to open this door. There's a little hole at the bottom of the door. If only I was a little skinnier, then maybe I'd be able to crawl through there. Oh, there simply will not do. I cannot have you wandering around at will. Who the f What? Yeah! It seems that your Mr. Wright is truly concerned about you. He is? For now, I would suggest you remain cooperative. Yeah. If you cannot, there are ways in which I can help you. Ways? You mean... Dead men tell no tales is how the saying goes. I correct? still don't understand what you mean. Yo-ho-ho. D-d-d-dead? -ho. Pirates? I'm almost certain I told you on our first meeting. I am... An assassin. Yeah, like Assassin's Creed. N no way. You're lying. I mean, an assassin? Like Assassin's Creed? Yes, I'm dope at parkour. Do you jump off buildings into hay bells? He probably is really good at parkour. He could probably do that shit. Look at him. People are not always who they appear to be. Me! <laughs> me! Me! <laughs> Knights who sing me. Money Python and the Holy Grail. You want to watch that? Do you have that? I saw you have a lot of movies. I don't have that one. 
What? <laughs> Why? Mr. Nick? Mr. Me? Hmm? Oh! Yes, Pearls? Got caught up in my thoughts about Maya's situation. Mr. Edgeworth has left, you know. I guess for now, I have no choice but to believe in Mr. On Guard. Why were you standing there for like a whole week? It was very concerning. I was... I don't know. I felt like I could see what Maya was doing, but I guess it was all made up, so I actually have no idea. I imagine she found like a cool video room. But I think I should listen to his story one more time. Alright! Let's get going too! Okay! And then I'll bet she made like a joke about Monty Python. Like I just, you know, I just imagine. I just know her so well. Probably what happened. Uh. Probably criminal affairs. Oh yeah. Or I, I don't guess, read I guess, things that here. happen. We can see bags. I'm I'm sorry. Oh, but jailer. Visiting hours are over. For is that today. his first name? Yeah, my name is Jailer Bagel Cop. <laughs> wow. <laughs> bagel Cop, one word. Aww. Ah. I have too many questions I need to ask. I'm so curious. I I'm sorry, but I'm Phoenix Wright, a lo- Well, I mean, I don't know why I'm introducing you. You're obviously one of my long-term buddies. You're Mr. Wright, you say. I'm just- I know who you are. <laughs> what are we doing, Bagel Cop? I don't know, what playing is this? this game. Oh yeah, there's a message here for you. A message? It's from Matt on guard. Uh, here you are. What did he write? Is it something really important? I don't know. Well, let's see what it has to say, then maybe I'll know. I don't know why you like point yeah, that out. I don't know. I don't know, Pearl, I haven't read it yet. To the lawyer, dude. I've got something really important to tell you. Why do I feel uneasy all of a sudden? Hmm. Oh, Mr. Wright. So, actually, I have a favor to ask of you. I have this cat named Shu. Oh, that's so itchy. That's a cute name. I didn't put out a lot of food when I left the house, so he's probably pretty hungry. You think you could drop by my house and feed Shu for me, dude? My house is just a little ways down from the hotel, alright? Thanks. Bye bye Th this is terrible! Let's hurry! We have to feed this cat! And um, we gotta save Shu. I'm sure poor Shu's stomach is growling by now. Y yeah I guess. Jamming in the pocket. Ugh. A client's request is a request. Guess I should go check up on his cat. Do you like do my laundry, dude? Oh my god. There's a whole list of things here. Get like it's some just Oreos. A, this whole murder thing was just a scheme for him to not do his fucking chores. Wow. Everybody looks really busy with something or another. I'm a playing Tetris. Hmm. There what? Do you, what? <laughs> get, back, get back to work. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, we haven't seen a lot of him this game. All right. Hmm. They're probably strengthening the evidence for tomorrow's trial. Hey! Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Hurry up with that, will ya? Pass the victims list around. Now you're speaking a nonsense. There's more than a hundred people on there. What was our name for that guy? Like uh, Gregorio Mamamia. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, Mr. Nick, is Mr. On Guard a really bad, terrible criminal? Actually, Pearls, never mind. It sounds like they're working on a different case. Okay. Okay. That's not. That was not. Correct. Fiddle around here. Go to the. Oh, uh, we should probably go to his house. Yeah, but I don't know how to get probably there. Probably from because he said it's down the street from the hotel. Oh, so we'll probably, probably have to go, go here first. first. All right, now, Mister Nick, let's go look for clues. We have to, for Mystic Maya's sake. You Ooh. shall not pass. Uh, Lord of the Rings. Oh. <gasps> Ms. Oldback, nice ref! Don't devalue my name and turn into a gas, you spiky headed poof! Because you haven't made it look like the bad guy again! Although I did get a piece of gum from Angie Boy, just as he promised. What I really want was something much more valuable, I want Angie Boo's heart, I want it all for me! It's all your fault, you've awakened the wild beast inside of this old bag! What? <laughs> She's, is she dead? Ah, uh, Ms. Oldback, keep your hands off of me! This helmet is airtight. No airs gets in and no air gets no out. Airs gets no in. airs gets in. Um, what does your helmet have to do with anything? Hm. Don't think you can get me to move with silly questions. You're gonna have to defeat me if you want to get by. Doesn't work on me anymore. I'm not hearing this. I'm too powerful, you. I'm I've become powerful too for you. powerful. Space old bag. The rages of audience. Um. 
I have my friends behind me now, Space Old Bag. There's nothing you can do. <laughs> <laughs> You're a million light years too well to be asking me questions, whippersnapper! Ah, uh, looks like the only way I'm... <laughs> Sorry, that voice. It's like the only way I'm going to get any investigating done. There's no way. Is because <laughs> I now. believe in myself, and I've got the strength of the entire planet on my side, wishing me strength to survive your laser beam, is to first do something about this kooky alien. Uh, we'll probably have to... Yeah, I don't know, let's see if she, it's mean, the same shit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, that's not going to work this time. I believe in ha! myself. I... No, never mind. No, no, no. Just the same old nope. shit. Okay. Okay, okay. never mind. Never uh, mind. Let's go find yeah, his house. I don't, I don't know. I... <laughs> I'm trying. It's hard. Living room. There we go. On guard mansion. Hmm. Sure is d d dark. I'll go turn on the light. Whoa! That's cool. Wow, so this is what a star's house looks like. Must be nice to be rich. Come on, Mr. Nick. Let's find Shoe the kitty cat. Shoe! Oh, <laughs> that's cute. So I guess this is... <laughs> uh, I, guess, Shoo. I guess this is Shoe. Hello, Shoe. Oh, what a lovely cat. Hello, Shoe. Meow. <laughs> hey, it's me, Shoe. <laughs> The cat seems to like pearls. Yeah, I like pearls. Oh. Pardon me. Oh, who the fuck? Hmm. Um, oh. Ooh. This is a. Uh, you look uh, like a delightful man. May I help you with something, Mr. Oh, uh, we're lawyers. Actually, I'm Mr. Ungard's lawyer. The masters. Then you must be Mr. Wright. Y yes. Ah, it's a pleasure to meet your wonderful self. I am the family butler, John Doe. Nice to meet you. Meow. <laughs> hey, give me some fucking food. Hmm. If he has a butler, why did he ask us to feed the cat? You must know all sorts of things about Mr. On Guard, right? Honestly, sir, I don't believe my master is capable of such a foul deed as murder. And, uh, anything else? No, not especially. It is inappropriate for a lowly servant to speak of the master of his affair or, or his affairs. Come on, tell me some of his affairs. Hmm. How typically butler-like, as it were. Okay, John Doe. That's what they name dead people. Mr. Doe, how long have you served at this residence? Well, sir, I would have to say maybe about one year. And, uh, anything else? Nope, not especially. You're pretty awkward. It is not appropriate for a lowly servant to speak of himself and his affairs. You know, I would have thought Mr. Ungard the kind to have a maid over a butler, because he's so pervy and all. How about she? That's a very cute cat you've got there. It is my duty to take care of him. The master rather fancies Shu. And, uh, anything else? No, not especially. It is not appropriate for a lowly servant to speak of the family cat. <laughs> oh, the family. Well then, I guess I don't need this piece of scrap paper anymore. I'm gonna rip it into shreds and throw it, <laughs> throw it in Tore it in half and threw it away. Well, I'm afraid I must take my leave of you now. Oh, we should probably get going ourselves. Ah, oh, so young and yet already so accomplished. A master of law. Yeah, pretty good. But there's also a lot to be proud of in being a butler, in charge of the house and all. Thank you for the compliment, sir. People are not always who they appear to be. Now, if you'll excuse me. Meow! What? Well, you're kind of an annoying cat. <laughs> hey, you didn't give me my food! God damn it. Fuck! I want to look at the motorcycle. A, a giant bicycle is flying through the air. That bicycle, Pearls, is one where you don't have to pedal and it moves on its own. A magic one? Really? Wow! But sorry to, to disappoint you, it can't fly. This Except in Harry Potter. Yeah, in Harry Potter there's a motorcycle. Hagrid's got a like, big one! And he drops the baby off on the motorcycle and says, This must be Privet Drive, I hope it doesn't suck. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, and then for it Harry. sucks really bad for Harry for like a, 11 What's years. What's that funny door? Yeah. Looks familiar. 
There's a small door at the bottom of the bigger door, Mr. Nick. I bet it's for Mr. Ungard's cat to use. Oh, you mean Chew? Yeah, me too. Meow. The door. It's just like walking up to meow. the Meow. Meow. The door. It's locked tight. Well, I guess that's to keep nosy people like me from entering it. Maybe on the next episode we'll feed the fucking cat. Meow, please. God damn it. <laughs> Do you know how long I've been here? Like, nobody is feeding me. I mean, the butler fed me an hour ago, but I'm hungry, god damn it. <laughs> I'm already hungry. Cats need a lot of food. Growing cat, bitch. <laughs>